What's wrong? It's... We're taking these to the police. No, no, no. They should have picked him up last night, the minute you lodged a complaint. You've seen enough police, I'll go. Don't you please, please don't leave me. He can't touch you up here. But you can do this, Gran, you know you can. I must have forgotten my keys. I'll just check it to me. Alia. Hello? Uh, yes, come in. Thank you. Thanks. How many times? chance at a fair hearing put your violin away i have already made an official complaint to the police coercive control they're probably out looking for you right now wait wait i can be civil if you can <laughs> clearly circumstances have changed now that i'm not going to be locked up in prison for the rest of my life this isn't living yaz even the hens have stopped laying. We need a fresh start. I've been to see my solicitor this morning. The, the buyer is champing at the bit. We've exchanged contracts. You don't let the grass grow, do you? All you have to do is sign over your share to me. My share? And my home? Well, my pension's worth peanuts. New pastures don't come cheap. Sign on the dotted line and abracadabra, the magic man disappears. Freedom, but it comes at a price. That's the message, isn't it? If I don't sign, you will hound my every waking hour. Let's face it, Yaz. If the police were going to lock me up, they'd have done it by now. Teflon Jeff. I'll get over to the solicitors, shall I? And tell them it's Green Man Go. No, 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 no. I, I'm not signing anything until I've been through that house with a fine tooth comb. Stall, and you're stuck with me. If I were you, I'd bob over while you've got the chance. Grab a few knickknacks or whatever you want saving from the skip. Or in Emily's case, the barbecue. <sighs> Joke. Or my photographs. My dishes, my recipes, a lifetime. An hour should do it. I've left the contracts on the table. Here's one set of front door keys at your service. Come on, cheer up, Yaz. All I need is your poor print and I'm out of here. Faster than a rabbit from a hat. Hi, this is Olya's phone. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. Hi. Uh, Alia, will you call me as soon as you get this message? I'm going to need an extra pair of hands. So I thought you were meeting Deep Throat for a slice of lemon drizzle. Well, horses for courses. That lot can take to the streets, the Ninas and the Albis. Yeah, the Oikes. But me with my political connections. <laughs> what, Lillian from Birchison? Well, she tipped me off once. I'm sure she'll do it again. 
And if I'm going to bring Wade Crosby down, I'm going to do it by brain rather than by brawn. I thought you'd be around there supporting Yasmin. Well, I just thought I'd let her settle in. You could go. He's still upset. Well, I'm just still trying to get my head around the whole thing, aren't I? You know, my whole childhood I thought was happy. What was that, just smoking mirrors? With Jeff. Yasmin wasn't lying, neither was Elaine. You know, when I saw Elaine in court watching that barrister pick her apart, she really swung that case for Yasmin. That barrister had her against the ropes and she was punching well below the belt and Elaine, she still came out fighting. You should ring her and tell her. You're making her sound like Rocky. Why couldn't she be in that brave for me? Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Do not laugh at me! Drink it. Every last growth you have. Take my skin raw. You've got to flinch like a monster. If only you could look at yourself. Dead behind the eyes and from the waist down. The long years ahead. <laughs> Tortured by your incessant Don't get to his past, God spare me! <laughs> Maybe I shall kill you. Do the world a favor. I'd rather see you dead. Come. Hello, Demeter. Remember me? Where's, where's Emily? Oh, my darling, Miss Bronte. Did you miss me? I missed you. I'm going to find us a new home, some, somewhere safe. And we might even start laying again. I won't be long. They kept me hanging around for hours down at the station. Nav, have you cashed up? You. Have you not taken enough? Yasmin's already given me her half of the house. Wants a few more quid in pocket money. As if. Guilty conscience, I suppose. Still, she won't regret it. And I can't get out of this dead-end hovel fast enough. She's over there now, scrabbling around in the last of the heirlooms. And I am laughing all the way to the bank. I wish I would have known this an hour ago. The police had enough to arrest you then, but caught red-handed in a robbery. Mm. Oh, this is the icing on the cake. I reckon DS Abney is getting your cell ready right now. Out of my way. Oh, what's the rush? Anyone would think you had a date. Oh, she hadn't told you, has she? Yet yeah, Christine can't make it tonight. Or tomorrow. Or the next night. I popped in. On my way home from the police station. Nice lady. She is. We're very compatible. Well, you were. When she believed in you, Mr. Nice Guy Act. Now I've shown her all the press reports. Now she knows that the villa with the olive grove was all going to be bankrolled by my gran. Oh, and that all oh, your family aren't talking to you. You can't really blame a girl for getting cold feet, can you? 
just can't bear anybody being happy, can you? We're seeing DS Abney in the morning. Talk her through all your plans to flee the country. But you know what? Seeing as you're here, why wait? Hello, Christine. Yeah, listen, you may have heard a few unsavoury things about me. More than a few. Yeah, well, I'm no saint, but I'm on a journey. Now, you've shown me what real love is. You make me want to be a better man. Now, don't hang up! Please! No, we can still make this work. What if I change our flights? We could be on a plane tonight and have a whole new life by tomorrow. I, I want to change. I, 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 I hate being me. It's really hard. It's hard being with you. Oh, is that right? You listen to me. You really think you rock my world? Do me a favour. Don't kid yourself. You were never Miss Right, Christine. You were just Miss Right now. Do you? Fine, the power will be back on in a minute. Let's see. Give me such a fright, you naughty girl. Out you go. Shoo. Shoo. Yeah, shoo. One mad old bird's enough. You said I could collect my things in peace. That was then. Now I've got decades of memories to dig out in the dark. You won't need knickknacks where you're going. Was it too much to ask? A fresh start. After violently attacking me, rejecting me. I went to prison. Always with the nitpicking. Can you for once not insist on having the last word? Have you been drinking? Have I been drinking? Could anyone blame me if I had? It was all lined up. My shiny new life. Christine was perfect. No need to knock her into shape. We would have found peace at last among the olive groves. But no. Alia had to go and poison it. Family trait, that is. Everything you touch turns to ashes. <laughs> Schoolgirl error, Yaz. You really think I wouldn't have locked the door? Jeffrey, if you're trying to frighten me, it's working. Excellent. Threatening arson. Who's threatening? That's a very serious offence. I'm not planning on getting caught. I've rung Alia. She's on her way. <laughs> you always were a terrible liar, yes. Alias Sparkle. Out for the count. Or dead. No! I... Either way. She's making a lot more sense than usual. Where is he? I'll give him chicken. Well, no, it's pizza, but... Have you seen this cut. message he sent me? Only chickens run away, eh? I'll swing for him. 
That was me. I had to do something to stop you. You're angry. You feel cornered, I understand. You've always been a complex man. Let's, let's take a step back and consider your situation. Now that you've turned my family, my girlfriend and the world against my me. My hands were tied. The only way I had of freeing myself was to vilify you. And now I'm out, we can review the situation. Like you did last night, reporting me to the police for coercive control. They told me I had to. What? Bigger boys, were they? I'll retract. I will ring D.S. Abney right now and tell her... That you were coerced into it. <laughs> I'll do it after we've rung an ambulance for Alia. Once I know she's in safe hands, I will ring the detective and explain it was all a mistake. <laughs> it's too late. I'm a pariah. You've suffered enough. But you haven't. Drop the phone. Drop it. Please, Jeff. No. Remember? You made me do this! Open the door! No, you can. Just don't... Don't look down. <laughs> of your life, Yasmin. You may call this noise, but no one's ever interested. Don't you come any closer. Or what? You'll slitch on me. No sister would appear to save you. Hashtag me, you. And my money's on me. If it isn't Lady Lazarus back from the dead, don't get your hopes up. If I go down, I'm taking a pair of you with me. In a blaze of glory. You won't suffer. That's my job, isn't it, Jeff? The cleaning and the scrimping and the groveling, not enough. To make you feel big, you had to make me small. And I went along with it. And yes. 
I was scared of the shouting and the sulking. But mostly, I just felt sorry for you. You can't rewrite history. You begged like a dog. And you enjoyed it. You pathetic excuse for a man. You should see him when he's off guard. Engrossed in a film, his mouth open, catching flies. You know, he still sucks his thumb when he thinks nobody's watching. <laughs> and his face when he meets someone richer or cleverer or funnier. His mouth tightens like a cat's backside. And a little vein in his head starts to throb. Fantasist! You're not fit to lace my boots. I am not scared of you anymore. You hear me? If the plan is to push me, you just look me in the eye and know I'm not scared of you anymore. Don't just lie there. Help me. Please. He'll, he'll pull you down with him. Listen to me. Not her. No. No, no. He doesn't deserve it. He, he's beyond her. No, I'm not. Again, you stupid woman! What the hell? The door's been kicked in. The place has been on actual fire. What are you doing here? I need you to see what's happened to Jeff. Jeff? Right, I'm calling the police. No. It's OK. It's OK. No one's calling anyone. You can't call the police. The state she's in. If she hears sirens, I don't know what she'd do. I'm so stupid. Well, what's she done? I think Jeff's dead. Dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. You fell. Look at me. It was an accident. Can you see him? Is he hurt? No. I'm sure he's... I'm sure he's okay. What are you doing? Oh, I need to speak to him. No! no, no. Uh, he's not all right, okay? But so what? It's good he's gone. You can start again. Properly, this time. Come on. Let's go in. What have I done? Come in. I just met Ryan. Hi, um, sorry I didn't come round straight away. It's just, uh, they're still on the roof. And, uh, Who's on uh, the roof? I... Our roof? N next door. Alan and Yasmin. The roof? Yes, Wait, me. don't, don't startle her. How did she get up there? The window. Ali was trying to get her back in, but... I need to talk to her. I'm going to tell Elaine to stay inside. Wait, hey, no, wait, look, there's something... Has anybody else. phoned anybody? I wanted to phone an ambulance, but Ali's worried that... An ambulance? It, it, What's it an turns... ambulance going to do? Strap her to a stretcher and toboggan her down? It's not for Yasmin. What? And um, fact is, there's... It's not to be done anyway, it's too late. Dad. Sally wants to speak to 
Gran. How will Tim ever forgive me? If you fall off here, I'll never forgive you. After everything you've been through, the, the court... I can't go back to prison. Who's going to prison? We all know what Jeff's capable of. You're not responsible. Who will believe that? No one will believe that. I do. Yeah, of course you. Of course, Alia. But well, everyone. You've always believed me, Sally. I still went to prison. And Alia says... My life would be better without him. That's what everyone will think. That... That I wanted this. Keep still! I can't go back there. I, I, I'll, I'll die. I'd sooner be dead. If you don't come in now, I'm gonna have to come out there. And I'm telling you now, I am not good at heights. And I've got my slippers on. Ali said to give her this. Should I talk to her? I didn't even know about your dad. I just rushed up here. Yeah. Ryan said that he slipped off the roof because he was trying to frighten her. She doesn't think anyone's going to believe her. I can't persuade her. She thinks I've just been nice. Well, I've never been nice to her, so why should she believe me? You have. You are. I didn't believe her for ages. Look, if you can't face talking to her after what's just happened, everyone would understand. Taught me how to make a coin disappear. I was about eight. You know when you, you hold out a coin and you tend to grab it with the other. French drop, he said it was called. Cool. You used to do it to me. Go on. And then there it'd be behind me. Yeah. Like again, 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 again. I loved that. He said, why don't I show you how to do it so you can use it to show off to your mates or impress girls. But I was gutted. Because it, it wasn't magic, you know. It was tricks and lies. Yasmin, let me help you in. No, no, stay where you are. <sighs> I... I shouldn't have climbed up here. If I hadn't... Well, he set a fire. What choice did he have? They'll, they'll think of one. He slipped? Yes. Yes. On my life. On, on my... On my grandchildren's lives. I know you... You'll think it's just words, but... I believe you. But... I believe you. And if it comes to it, which it won't, but if it does, I'd stand up in court and I'd say so. You do that? Even now? Yeah. He... It was all tricks and lies. He's always trying to be the big man. But he isn't. And well, he wasn't. He was still your dad. <laughs> Come in and get warm. Come on, come to ours. We need to call the police. I need to see him. The paramedics are still with him. Sally, tell me what you did. Talking Yasmin down. Yeah. Looks like we both had to dig deep, doesn't it? You in court, me next door. I need some air. You're shaking, Yasmin. Can I get you a brandy? No. When will the police come? When they finish talking to Alia. Shall I sit with her? Then you could be with Tim. Thank you. I want to make sure that the paramedics see Alia too. You should have said yes to that brandy. It was him who said no alcohol. No 
friends, no freedom, no life. <sighs> He's gone, Yasmin. <sighs> he can't treat anyone else like he treated us. Where, where, where are the police? Do you want to come with him? Or to the morgue? I'll come with you if it helps. I keep thinking it's another one of his tricks. I'm going to turn around and he's going to be there doing that ta-da thing. Not this time. No. Let's go inside. The office is waiting. What's happened? I thought it was Peter, but it wasn't. What? Who is it? Jeff. Is that an accident or something? They're asking everyone to keep away for now. This accident, what is it that Jeff's had? <laughs> Hope it was serious. Just come back tomorrow away. Eh? Yasmin needs a bit of space. Yasmin's there. He's not hurt her, has he? I'll kill him. No, no need. He's... He's dead. An accident. He chased her up onto the roof and he slipped. She's blamed herself. B because he goes for her and he cops for it himself? Oh, oh. Hoisted by his own leotard. <laughs> Sorry, shouldn't speak ill of the dead. Yeah, well, not in front of Yasmin anyway, or Tim. No, no, but I can think it loudly. <laughs> oh, you should have kept still there, Jeff, on that slippy roof. Oh, I wish I'd seen it. I'd have been yelling up there. Jiggle it, Jeff! <laughs> Go on, jiggle it! <laughs> oh, it's not jiggling now. I'm not laughing, it's just. It's been a stress, that's all. Oh. Listen, um, tell Yasmin she can call me, day or night, and, and tell her I'm sorry. About Jeff? No. Look, I was a rubbish friend to her. I wasn't there from the start, but I'm going to make it up to her, all right? Just tell her anything she needs, anything. She just has to ask, OK? Oh. Off he jiggles. <laughs> Good riddance to you, Jeff. Maybe it was his shoes. C could it have been? He used to make me clean them for him. His best pair was smooth underneath, but I, 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 I can't remember what shoes he had on. Yes, mean. You were telling me what happened just before he fell. Um. I. I told him I wasn't scared of him. Uh, he, he was raging, coming for me. And then he slipped. I couldn't. I tried. I wouldn't have let him fall. But I was too slow. Too late. I keep seeing that look he had. Maybe it was his shoes. Have I already said that? I keep saying the same things again. <sighs> I'm afraid it might not be the last time. We will have to talk to you again, Yasmin. I need to go back to the flat for, uh, for, for some things. No, I don't mean tonight. We'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm staying in overnight. They're not arresting you. You can go home tonight. Oh. oh. You're a witness. You and Alia. Where is Alia? She's making you something to eat. I said I'd bring you round when you've done. Uh, um... You believe me? Look, I've been working on your case since the start. I know what you've been through. I believe you. Go on, get some rest. 
I wouldn't have wanted this. We'll be in touch. I'll take you back to the flat. Uh, are, 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 are the chickens all right? They were so stressed. Yasmin, are you going? But we'll take care of the chickens. If there's anything I can do, you must let me know. Thank you. I'm going to take Yasmin back to the flat. Are you OK? Yeah, I'll be fine. And in case I don't see you, Elaine, thank you so much for everything you did in court. I know how hard that was for you. We'll see you soon. I'll get off. No, no, no. Stay. Wait till Sal gets back. Look, it's all right to grieve for him. And it's okay to be angry with me. You've still got loads to work through. Look, I, I am angry with you, I am, but what does that say about me? That you're human. Yeah, and you just reminded me I, I was stupid to trust me dad and I was selfish to walk out on my own child. And I didn't even have the same excuse as what you did. Look, stop trying to deal with everything all at once. It's too messy. And it, it's way too soon. I just keep thinking of him in some <laughs> drawer in a freezer. Must be like there's a war going on in that head of yours. You don't have to figure out how you feel. <sighs> if one minute you, you hate me and the next minute you don't, well, that's... <sighs> I've lived with worse than that. And I'm stronger now than I was then. <sighs> I'm sorry you've lost your dad. But you're still a son. You're my son. Whenever you're ready. Sure you don't want some, Sal? No, thanks. You two need to take care of each other. That head wound was nasty. I'll be fine. All right, I'd better get back to Tim. Gran, can you um, sit down, please? I need you to eat something. Please, just to make me feel better. Yeah, it'll build your strength up. To face the police tomorrow. To face the rest of your life. All the good things that are going to come. It's over. Call me if you need me. Bye, Sal. She's right, you know. It's over. Finally, properly over. There's a brew here for you. I was thinking about ringing into work today, get the day off. Why? So I can be with you. All right, but I might not be here because I got a message from Elaine. Oh, right. Yeah, she's thinking about calling over to see how Yasmin's doing. Do you think I should go with her? Well, yeah, if you think it's the right thing to do. Yeah, it'd be good to see if she's doing okay. Yasmin, you know. And what about you? How are you doing? Me, I'm fine, why? Well, did you manage to get any sleep? Because I could practically hear your mind worrying yeah. all night. Yeah, 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 I slept like a baby. You know, despite what Jeff did, he's still your dad. Can't just wave a magic... Sorry, that was a wrong choice of words. What I'm trying to say is... Well, losing your father, that is a big thing. You can't just pretend that it never happened. I am not going to waste another second of my life worrying about that man, so... Morning. Morning. I'm uh, not going to work at the bistro. No, of course not. You need to take the day off. You've had a big shock. Not just today. For good. The bistro, the hotels, none of them. And it's nothing to do with my granddad. Mm. And everything to do with Ray. Buying people's houses, doing people over. He's a snake, that fella. I'm glad that you're taking a stand against him. You've got principles. I'm proud of your kid. You know, we really need to keep an eye on her. 
She's young. It's not going to be easy for her to just build up a wall and pretend that nothing's happened. Yeah. Who are you on me now? Shh. It's a message from Kevin. Oh, my. What? No. What? No. What? You're kidding. What? Debbie is only part of Ray's company. I mean, no wonder she's pushed us and pushed us to sell. Wait till I get my hands on Debbie Fleming Webster. Um, Alice said the, the place was spotless, but... Sorry. It takes a long time to leave you. What does? The feeling that he's still there somewhere checking up on you. Yes. I was folding cloths for years afterwards. I still catch myself doing it. And ironing, tea towels, socks, dusters. Anyway, apart from all the cleaning stuff, you feeling all right? Feeling? Hmm. To be honest, I don't know how I'm feeling. Every time the phone rings, knock on the door, I go to the window and I think I'll see him. But you won't? No, but even so. Is there anything we can do? No, I don't think so. There is a lot of paperwork to sort out. Um, his phone contract and things. Well, we can give you on with that. And then there's a funeral, of course. He paid into one of these plans. I'll need to contact them. But perhaps we should plan the service together. Took him in a skip as far as I'm concerned. Well, none of this is important. The main thing here is you. And you. You've lost your father. Yeah, I'm right as rain, me. Might have lost my dad, but again, a mum. Look, I, I think we're all in uncharted territory here. I mean, we're, we're sort of dealing with loss. We're glad he's gone. We need to take things a day at a time. Yes. Yeah, and don't worry, you'll soon be like me. Over it. And ready to live life again. Oh, sorry, it's Ali. It's Alia. Um, I'm afraid I'll have to... Well, we should leave you to it for a bit. Oh, no, no, don't go just yet. I'll get it and then I'll, um... Sorry. Uh, hi. Are you, are you okay? Oh, good. Nice. Yep. Well, she seems to be doing okay. Oh, Tim, she's all over the place. You reckon? Yeah, she's a pack of nerves. Well, she has been through quite a lot recently, hasn't she? Yeah. She's going to need a lot of help and support. More, I think, than Ali is able to give her. Yeah, well, I'll pop in from time to time. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, I will too, whenever I can get over. I think it'd be good if we could spend a bit more time together as well. Yeah, I'd like that. Why don't you move in? Move in? Yeah, with me, Sally and Faye. Why not? Um... Any news on Adam? Uh, Rita said that he's in a coma. And everyone's saying that Peter did it. Really? Yeah, he's been arrested, apparently. Cathy saw them coming out the Rovers earlier on. Well, can you blame him after what Adam did to Carla? Yeah, I can, actually. It's attempted murder. If he dies, it's actual murder. He could spend the rest of his life in prison. Anyway, on a more positive note, I've got some good news. You've cleaned the conservatory? No, I haven't. Why was I supposed to? Well, it just needed doing. No, no, it's not that. I, um, I've asked my mum to move in with us. But you said you wanted space from her yesterday. Yeah, I know I did, but I've been thinking, you know, what with my dad dying, everybody's a bit shaken up. I thought it'd be good if we were all together. It's a nice thought, but I'm just worried that you're rushing things to try and get over everything that's happened. No, no, I'm not. It makes sense. Elaine wants to be close to Yasmin, and it'll give me and Faye a chance to get to know her better. What do you think, love? It'd be nice to have your new grandma around, won't it? Yeah, I don't mind. You know... Faye won't say it, but she might not want Elaine moving in with us. She's a young girl. She's not got over losing her granddad yet. Yeah, but this will help her take her mind off all that. But we can still get to know Elaine without her living with us. We could be moving to Hale Barn soon anyway. Well, if we move, she'll just have to come with us, won't she? Oh, hiya. Right, what do you want to do first, then? Oh, uh... Uh, I'm not quite sure. Well, you could help me get some stuff together for the bring and buy sell tomorrow. Yeah, I don't mind. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. We want to do something fun, don't we? Okay. All right. I'll leave you two to your fun, then. Well, don't be getting rid of any of my old school trophies, because I want to show them to my mum. Mm, of course I won't. Nobody would want to buy them anyway. 100 metres, two years on the run. Oh. Do you like swimming? No, it was running. I was proper fast when I was a kid. Oh, do you want to do some baking? What? Well, that's what parents do with their kids, isn't it? Bake? Uh, yeah, we can bake if you want. Um, 
Um, what do you like? Um, Yule logs with icing. I've never made a Yule log before. Oh, actually, I can't. I had a heart attack last year. Sally said I've got to avoid the sweet stuff. You had a heart attack? Tim, that's awful. Are you all right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fit as a fiddle. Do you want to watch a movie? Have you ever seen Elf? No. Oh, great. This is going to be proper Christmassy. Sit down. Head to the cabin. Might be nice to have a catch up with Kathy. Oh, we really should be getting back. Oh, Gran. You're not on anyone's leash anymore. Yasmin! Anya! I was just going to pop round and uh, check in on you both. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I thought we could have another natter. I'm not interested in comparing notes. OK. I'm sorry, I have to go. Sorry. She's not herself. Oh, don't worry. I understand. Uh, I don't suppose you'd mind dropping this off at Tim's, would you? Just something for Faye. Why can't you do it? I'm trying to keep my distance. I think Tim's trying to rush me into the space his dad just left. Poor Tim. Yeah. He's asked me to move in with him and Sally. Oh. What did you say? Well, I just sort of let it happen. I couldn't reject him again. But honestly, the more I think about it, the more I think I've just got to let him down gently. Yeah, maybe. You disagree? It's hard to say. I mean, I hope Jeff rots in hell, but when it comes to your own family, who knows what Tim needs right now? So I should move in. Look, I don't know what's best, but if you do want to take it at a slower pace, then you need to tell him. I better go. Bringing by. Yeah, most of it. Some of it's for the bin, but we've got to make room for our new house guest, haven't we? Yeah. Um. What's in the bag? Oh, for Faye. Just some jewellery I wanted her to have. The things you find when you're packing for a house move, eh? Um. Well, I'm sure she'll love it. I'm a bit worried about her, actually. Oh? Yeah, I know she's lost her granddad, but um, something else. There's a big gap between us. Maybe she just needs some of her own time to work it all out. Yeah. You just don't want your kids going through that kind of stuff on their own, do you? I'll sit the kettle on. This was a real favourite. Oh, you like your board games, then? Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't have a video recorder and computer games were for nerds. Me and my mates were obsessed with them. Summer holidays, we used to have Monopoly marathons that went on for days. <laughs> Did you dress up as your favourite Cluedo characters, too? Yeah. <laughs> I was always flaming Professor Plum. My dad made me a little tash and made me wear his maroon cardi. Why don't we have a game now? What, battling tops? Yeah, why not? It's not your kind of thing. It's not exactly a game of skill. you just got to get them spinning and bash them into each other. What's up, Mum? Oh, it's just everything I've missed. Well, we're making up for it now, aren't we? Yeah, I'm getting a picture of what you must have been like as a lad. So how old were you when you got this? Seven? <laughs> Fifteen. I was a late developer. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a blast from the past. What is it? It's an invoice book from my old window cleaning business. Really? Yeah. Right little gold mine that was. Craig and Faye used to help out and Sophie, Sally's youngest. Should have seen how keen they were. Sounds like a proper family business. Yeah, it was. It really was. Why did you ever give it up? Oh, life just takes over, doesn't it? Oh, oh no! Oh. Oh. What's going on? I'm thrashing my mum at that. That's what's going on. No, oh, I let him win the first three rounds. You really didn't. I really did. It's all in the wrist action. Tim. <sighs> yeah. That's the second time today you've called me mum. Is it? Oh, I, I didn't realise. I guess it feels a bit more natural what with us getting closer than that. Yeah, no, I, I... I really want to have that with you. You know, to be your mum properly. But... You've had a massive shock with everything that's happened. It's just a word. No, it's, it's more than that. And I'm just saying, uh, let's go slowly, eh? And maybe it's a bit soon for me to be moving in here as well. Really? I want to get this right, Tim. You know that I'll always be here for you. But we've got all the time in the world now. We don't need to rush into anything, eh? OK. Have you had all my coconut milk? Oh, That'll be me. I thought there was more in the fridge. Look, why don't I make the tea and you have a bash at beating your dad? Hey? You right, love? You worried about your job? <sighs> yeah, I need to work. Well, it's funny you should say that. Because me and your grandma were just saying, why would you want to work for some streak of nothing like Ray when you can work for yourself? 
So how do you feel about Metcalf and Daughters? Transparent wall maintenance officers. What? Window cleaners. Yeah, me and you back together again. Obviously, I'll be the managing director, and your grand can take care of admin and marketing. Still pushing leaflets through doors. Yeah, it could be a real family business. I've been in touch with some of my old customers, and they're all biting my hand off because they're sick of cleaning their houses since COVID. Oh, go on, Faye. Say yes. It could be fun. <sighs> I might as well. I've got nothing else to do. Yay, that's the spirit. <laughs>